Going straight to some news just coming in. The mega IPL auction is underway right now. Ashwin sold to Rajasthan Royals for 5 crore. Shikhar Devan sold to Punjab Kings for 8.25 crore. And uh, Pat Cummins sold to Kolkata Knight Riders for 7.25 crores. Ravadas sold to Punjab Kings for 9.25 crores. Rahul Rawat is with us, getting us more details on that. We'll just go back to Rahul in a bit from now. We'll just connect with him, but we're getting you the details of the mega IPL auction, which is currently underway as we speak. We're getting you the proceedings from the IPL auction right now. Details of that. Ashwin has been sold to Rajasthan Royals for 5 crore rupees. Shikhar Dhawan sold to Punjab Kings for 8.25 crores. Pat Cummins sold to Kolkata for 7.25 crores. And Ravada sold to Punjab Kings for 9.25 crores. Ten teams are bidding for 590 players in the two-day mega IPL auction, which has just started today. It continues until tomorrow. Nikhil Nas is with us for more details on that big story. Nikhil, the big takeaway as of now, this of course uh, is going to last for two days starting today. It's a two-day mega auction. But as far as today is concerned, what's the big uh, talking point, the biggest highlight? Well, uh, Sneha, the first thing is that uh, it's been a mellow start, I'll say. I, I know that these numbers are massive. You're looking at 9 crores and 8 crores and 5 crores. Uh, but because the biggest players were to start uh, in the IPL auction, the, the marquee players, I expected the 10 crore barrier to be breached at least a couple of times by now. It hasn't been. So you've been slightly below that 10 crore barrier. You're around the 8.25 and the 9.25 barrier, which Kagiso Rabada is at the moment. Uh, the other talking point we have right now is that, and which was expected, is that Punjab Kings are going big at the auction at the moment. They had the biggest purse remaining because they had only retained two players. And so after that, uh, you expected them to be bidding the most for these marquee players. And just true to that sort of a prediction, it is going uh, according to that. And Punjab Kings are the ones that are really bidding. What's other uh, interesting bit to emerge from this bit of auction that has just started is that teams are trying to go back and get the players that were already part of them. So even though they couldn't retain all of them, only four players were retained. But the ones they had to let go, those are the ones they're still targeting for and they're going behind that. So you could see a Delhi bid for Ravi Chandran Ashwin. You could see a Delhi bid for Kagiso Rabada as well. These were two players that were part of that team. You also saw Delhi bid for Shikhar Dhawan, who they had to let go. Eventually, it has gone to someone like the Punjab Kings because, as I said, they have a bigger purse. Pat Cummins was a, a player that uh, was with KKR earlier. Remember, he was, was sold for 15 crore, but I think that's a market correction there. Now he's gone for a 7.25 crore sum. And, and many experts would say that that would be appropriate price for someone like uh, Pat Cummins. So the market is correcting on that front. But I still expect that 10 crore barrier to be bra uh, breached once some of the big Indian players come into uh, the auction. You'll have the likes of Shreya Sayer coming in. You'll have someone like an Ishan Kishan. Watch out for that name. He could even touch the 15 crore mark and could be the most expensive buy in this IPL auction. So as expected, there has been a bit of aggressive buying, multiple bids coming. But still, I think slightly conservative on the whole with whatever little we've seen so far. But some gains for Punjab though. Uh, good business, good early business, uh, uh, you know, Nikhil. But Delhi really seems to be losing out. And there's a lot of talk also, including on social media, on how uh, the name is big, but uh, the capital with them isn't, isn't. Well, you know, uh, you'd have to also think uh, who they may be targeting at the moment. See, they retained their four players, which meant that a major chunk of their purse had already gone out. Now, they know that they have a limited amount of money to play with. Who is it that they are going to be targeting? So I think Kadiso Rabada is one guy that they went after who was part of their team. But I think at a certain point they let go of him. Ashwin also they went after him and this is the Delhi Capitals team, someone who was with him. But after a point they let go. Similar thing happened with Shikhar Dhawan. They were going after him but then let him go. Which tells you that they've come with a plan. They have a threshold for each pair and, and have realized if you don't get XYZ players at that certain price, we're not going to chase him further, which means there could be a few other players. The likes of Shreya mm. Sahir, which was also part of the Delhi team, or the Ishan Kishans of the world that you're looking at. A Harshal Patel would be someone who comes up. A Lex Binner in UC Chelsea. These are bigger names who will attract massive, massive price. 
So maybe they're saving up for that. They've already got four decent players. And we remember uh, Punjab Kings did not retain their four players. They only retained two. And in out of that, one of them was retained at a much lower price in Ashdeep Singh. So they have a massive purse with them. We expected this. We expected Punjab Kings to be the aggressor. We know that they have more money in their pocket and that when it comes to a one-on-one -on -one bidding scenario, Punjab Kings is going to outbid most uh, teams. And that's exactly how it's played out so far at the auction. Yes, Nikhil, be with us. We'll just come back to you live uh, for more on that uh, while you just mic up quickly. But the mega IPL auction is underway and we're getting you details of that mega IPL auction. Remember, it's a two-day auction. Pat Cummins has been sold to Kolkata for 700... S I beg your pardon, 7 crores, 25 lakhs. Rabada sold to Punjab Kings for 9.25 crores, essentially. We also have an update. Trent Bold has been sold to Rajasthan Royals for 8 crore. Like Nikhil was telling us, he expected that the 10 crore mark is going to be breached. Uh, but yet, we've not seen that happen. And uh, it's, a bit, uh, it's a little conservative is what Nikhil was telling us. But remember, we have two days to go. Today is the first day. And uh, tomorrow is going to be the second in the much talked about IPL auction this season. Uh, who really is going to be the most expensive player? I'm going to ask Nikhil to guess that for us. Nikhil, I know uh, a little difficult, but uh, really, what do you think is going to happen? Who's going to be the most expensive uh, after you know tomorrow? After tomorrow, we'll of course have the answer to that question. Uh, but what's your guess now? Okay, what I can tell you right now, Sneha, is that Shreyas Iyer is up uh, on the auction table. He's one of those hot picks who you think could end up with the maximum amount of money. People are looking at the 12 crore mark or possibly even 15 crore. And the major reason behind that is the fact that he's also being looked at as a captaincy material. And there are a few teams, three teams to be uh, precise, who are looking for a captain. So that could be a bidding war that is underway at the moment, could be the most expensive buy. The one that I'm putting my um, you know money on in terms of who is going to be the most expensive buy, that would be Ishan Kishan. Just letting you know a few reactions that are coming in. We know that uh, Pat Cummins got sold for 7.25 crore to his earlier franchise in Kolkata Knight Riders. Just seeing a social media reaction where he's reacted, he said, honestly, I did not even know which date the auction is. Is it 13th or the 14th or 15th or something? I haven't spent too much time on it. And he was asked this question just before the auction. So he wasn't sweating much in terms of what his price is going to be. But now he knows 7.25 crores and he'd be happy to go back to a franchise that he was a part of. Remember, at one point he was the most expensive buy in the IPL auction at 15 CR. That is now corrected to 7.25 CR. At the moment, all eyes on Shreya Sahir. I'm trying to track that for you and, and tell you who is it that uh, you know Shreya Sahir goes to. But this is one of the two or three players that I can say uh, that, that are going to be there. So there it is. Shreya Sahir has gone to Kolkata Knight Riders. As I said, that 10 crore mark uh, will be breached and that's exactly what has happened uh, Sneha, at 12.25. 25 crore. So that is where he's gone to Kolkata Knight Rider. So two big picks that Kolkata have got. One, Shreyas Iyer and the other in Pat Cummins. Now what that also tells me is that Shreyas Iyer is going to be their captain. Now we were looking for a captain. They retained four players uh, in, in uh, Sunil Narayan, in uh, Varun Chakravarti, in uh, Russell Arnold and in a Venkatesh Iyer. Now, in, in that, there were two youngsters and two more senior West Indian pros, but none of them were being looked at as captains. So you knew that Kolkata needed a captain. So Shreyas Iyer is sold to Kolkata Knight Riders for 12.25 crore. So that's the big news that we can tell you. Will he be the most expensive? Uh, I think not. I have a sneaky feeling that Ishan Kishan is going to cross that 12.25 crore mark. Also, put this into perspective, in the last few years or so, Nikhil, uh, who's been the most expensive player for our viewers? Uh, and, uh, you know, what was the amount that was paid for that player? Which team did they really belong to? Uh, do get us a background. So, uh, the mm -hmm. most expensive player so far, 16.5 crore that was paid by Rajasthan Royals for Chris Morris, the, the South African all-rounder. And that was just a year ago. But see, this is how things change uh, in, in the IPL because now he's actually retired from all formats of the game. He's now act sitting in the studio as an expert. Remember, a year ago, the most expensive buy in IPL at 16.5 CR, now he's sitting in the studio and analyzing the IPL auction. That's how much it changes in the IPL, which is why I say it's very different 
to the state cricket that you see, the first class cricket that you see, or even international cricket that you see, where things tend to change gradually. This is corporate level cricket, where things move really fast. Just like the stock market, your uh, stakes can go up, they can fall down very, very drastically. So to give you an, an idea, as I said, uh, it was Chris Morris, the most expensive. Before that, uh, Yuvrat Singh had uh, commanded a prize of 15 uh, crore. Uh, Kyle Jamieson went uh, to RCB at uh, 14 plus crore. So these are just certain names that come to your mind in terms of the most expensive buy. And right there was also uh, Pat Cummins that I mentioned who went for 15 crores for KKR. But see the correction, that happened a few seasons ago and within a period of two to three years from 15 CR, Pat Cummins is now corrected to 7.5 CR. And this, after the fact that Pat Cummins now is also the captain of the Australian national team. So currently that fast bowler is the captain of the Australian national team. But that correction has happened. However, I still think there could be a few other Australian fast bowlers that will go for a plenty more, maybe breaching the mark that 7.5 crore that has been set by Pat Cummins. You could have the likes of Hazelwood go for a little more than that. So. Uh, these are the uh, yes. you know latest updates that we're telling you. KKR has picked two really smart players in Shreyas Iyer and Pat Cummins. Yes. Also, Nikhil, uh, uh, talking about the latest updates, uh, we also hear uh, news just coming in that Team yeah. India pacer Mohamed Shami is next and Gujarat Titans and RCB uh, are in a bid war at the moment. Yes. Uh, hmm. Mohamed Shami, again, as I said, uh, so... You know, when you sometimes look at these IPL buys and, and a few folks maybe scratching their head that, you know, this player is so much better than this one, but why has he gone for this much amount and why the other has gone for a little bit of a low amount? See, you got to understand it's a... It's a supply versus demand sort of a scenario now whenever as you know with any market dynamics if you have a, a lesser supply of a product then the demand is high in which case the price is so so two different sets of players that are always in high demand and the supply isn't great are fast bowlers genuine fast bowlers as well as wicket keeping batsmen so you'll always see it's usually all-rounders and in that uh, uh, fast bowling all-rounders and sometimes genuine fast bowlers and wicket-keeping batsmen. So these are the segment of players that always go for a lot of money because you do not have too many options. That is why sometimes in terms of batsmen, you might say that this batsman is an outstanding player, has done so well at the international level. Why is he being paid less money than a probably an average all-rounder or a not so great fast bowler? That's because in terms of batsmen, you have plenty to choose for. If you go for one, you don't get him. You will have an option B, an option C, an option D and an option E. It does not happen like that when it comes to genuinely quick match-winning fast bowlers, uh, out-and-out wicket-keeping batsmen who can be a destructor when it comes to batting or a genuine all-rounder, whether it's a fast bowling one or a spinning all-rounder, mostly fast bowling all-rounders. So you have to keep these things in mind and that is why sometimes those prizes soar and then you see some great players not get that much. Um, uh, Mohamed Shami, as you, you were mentioning, is, is right now going under the hammer. Why he's in, going to be in demand is simply because he's an Indian fast bowler. And you remember how the teams are made in the IPL and the 11 that you've got. You have to have uh, uh, four foreign players and the rest of the team has to be made up of Indian players. That's why Indian players also go up in demand because you know they will most likely make the playing 11. It has yes. happened in the past where you've got great foreign players but you can only fit in four. They sit on the bench. So that doesn't happen with Indian players. And that's why I think all eyes are right now on Mohamed Shami as well. Yes, we have an update, uh, Nikhil. Uh, Mohamed Shami sold to Gujarat Titans for 6.25 crores. Yeah. How do you look at it? Uh, I think the right price. Okay. 6.25 crore would be the rise, uh, right price for him. Uh, he is one of India's best bowlers, but sometimes you need to really look at a format. I think in red ball cricket, in test match cricket, he's one of... Okay, we just uh, have lost Nikhil's audio. We'll try and go back to Nikhil Nas in a bit from now. But the big developments from today and the latest one first. Mohamed Shami sold to Gujarat Titans for 6.25 crore rupees is what, uh, is what uh, Nikhil has in fact told us. Shreya Sayar, by far the most expensive player as of now, sold to Kolkata for 12.25 crores is uh, what uh, we can tell our viewers. Remember, the mega IPL auction is underway as we speak. Ashwin has been sold to Rajasthan Royals. Five crores shikhar Davan Delhi wanted him, but he has gone to Punjab Kings for 8.25 crores. We'll continue to keep a close eye on those developments.